Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Fresh Look Friday. I'm Laura, and today I have some young adult fiction books that are all retellings of fairy tales or classic literature. It's a very popular thing that we get asked for a lot, and it's also very popular in publishing right now to do retellings or to have stories with touches of other stories that you might be familiar with. And I'm going to start with this one. This is actually an older one. Um, it's called The Looking Glass Wars. This is one of our most popular books. It has been most the, one of the most checked out books in the young adult fiction collection. And if you know Alice in Wonderland, maybe the title kind of gave it away, or even the cover with our little card suits here. This is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, but it is a twisty turvy retelling. There's action, there's murder, there's violence. It's like got it all in this story. So Alice is still our main character here. Um, she is heir to the throne in Wonderland and she has a murderous Aunt Red. Maybe some of you might remember the Red Queen. Um, and there's a lot of magic and other world in this story. Lots of traveling through worlds and dimensions. And she has a royal bodyguard named Hatter Madigan, which seems similar, right, to that Mad Hatter that we all are familiar with. There are different clues throughout this story that you will recognize from the original movies or story of Alice in Wonderland. Um, Hatter Madigan is in search of Alice um, to try and protect her from dark secrets that loom in her future. If you like action-packed dimensional science fiction-y almost kind of fantasy stories, I would definitely pick up The Looking Glass Wars. It is so different from that traditional Alice that you know. Then we have a newer book. The sequel of this book just came out. This is called The Bone Spindle. It is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. And we have a gender swap in this story. So instead of a sleeping princess, we have a sleeping prince named Briar. And then we have Fee, who is a treasure hunter who goes around this world trying to find old ruins and books from the time when the sleeping prince was cursed. And we have Shane. She is a warrior. This one's Shane, this one's Fee. The two of them team up because they think they can find the sleeping briar, break the curse, and bring everyone back awake. And hence our journey begins. There are bits and pieces of this story as you read through it that you will remember from the traditional Sleeping Beauty story. There are also things thrown in that just add a little spice to it, make it a little bit more exciting. Um, and to have the gender switch is really, really cool to see these strong women, um, not only smart, but strong and can hold their own against um, violent witches, the bone spindle. Next, we have, oh, this one was so good. This is called Lord of the Fly Fest, and it is a take on Lord of the Flies, the classic novel. You do not have, have to re-read Lord of the Flies or even know that story to make this book entertaining. I loved this book. It was funny. It kept me guessing. Um, Rafi is our main character. She runs a podcast that no one really listens to. It's a true crime, true crime podcast, and she decides to sign up for this music festival Fly Fest in the Caribbean because this famous rock star, River Stone, is going to be there. And River has a missing girlfriend. She has just vanished. And he has kind of placated all the media and law enforcement that she left on her own. But Rafi knows different. Rafi knows that something fishy is going on and that River likely murdered this girlfriend. So she is going to this fly fest, this music festival, to get an exclusive interview with River for her podcast. And that will make it popular and go viral, right? The only problem is fly fest is a sham. A bunch of these people get dropped off on this remote island and there's nothing there. There's no music festival at all. It kind of looks like maybe they started. There's some tents here and there. Um, there is a little bit of electricity, but there's nothing else. No plumbing, no food, and they're just there. And they have to survive 
all alone on this island now. And most of the people that attended this Fly Fest are influencers from TikTok, from Instagram, and all they care about is what they look like and if they can get more views. And here's Rafi with all of these influencers. And it is, hmm. <laughs> also, River shows up. So maybe she still can get her interview and prove that River is a murderer. So there's a survival aspect to this story, but it's like weird and twisty turvy because these influencers don't have the same survival skills or even the thought that they need to survive in the way that Rafi thinks. Like Rafi's like food, water, fire. <laughs> the influencers are like makeup, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so there's like a cool dichotomy going on there. So it definitely has a lot of different elements and I really enjoyed it. Lord of the Fly Fest. Then we have Legendborn. So this is pretty famous. It came out a couple years ago and the sequel just came out, Bloodmark. And the magic system set up in this book is so original. I highly recommend it to any fantasy reader. Um, it is a retelling of the legend of King Arthur. Or there is like bits and pieces of King Arthur in here, not so much a retelling. Um, Brie is our main character. She's 16. She lost her mother in a car accident a year ago, and she is not coping with that well. Her and her best friend decide to apply to this like pre-college, like a, a, it's a college, but then they have a couple years ahead of time for like 16, 17 year olds to come and live there and go to pre-college classes so that they can get ready for college. So she gets accepted. She goes to this place because her mom went there. So she feels like she can be connected to her mom. Um, because she misses her dearly and she discovers one, she has powers. They're very weird powers. And two, there's a secret society on this campus called the legend born and they are descendants of King Arthur and his round table. And she gets into this secret society, even though she is not a descendant. And she starts going through these trials and trying to figure out um, what is going on with her. And she realizes that the death of her mother might not be simply a car accident, but could have been caused by one of the Merlins in the Legendborn Society. So she decides to go deep undercover and join the society to try and figure out what actually happened to her mother's death. The magic is so cool. It's so original, the way that the author wrote this and built the world and integrated it into like current time. So these kids, I mean, it's current, right? So there's cell phones, there's all of these things that we deal with on a daily basis in addition to this magic world. And I cannot, cannot wait to read the sequel, Bloodmarked. But this one's Legendborn. Definitely pick it up. And finally, my last one, a little different and not technically a retelling. It is called Other Ever Afters, New Queer Fairy Tales by Melanie Gilman. So this is a graphic novel, um, and it's just a bunch of little fairy tales, little tiny fairy tales. They're not too long. They're all originals, so they're not something that you're going to um, reflect on something different, um, but they're feminist they're queer, they're anti-authoritarian. And so the, it's just like a really different look on happily ever after and how maybe it doesn't have to be so traditional. So if you like reading outside the box, if you like fairy tales, if you like um, graphic novels, I definitely pick up other ever afters. And that's what I have for you today. Like I said, these books are very popular. Retellings are super popular. We have a whole book list of ones to share with you. So if something here doesn't sound good, but you kind of like this genre, this vibe that we have going, come in, I will help you find other books. All of these are available on our digital platforms as well in audiobook or ebook. I listen to most of them. So if you're an audiobook, audiobook reader, you can definitely check these out. That's all I have. See you next time.